Here's a piece of ordinary knitted cable and as you know if you turn it round it doesn't look like a cable at all it just looks quite ugly and that doesn't matter if it's a garment or anything that doesn't show the inside but especially if you are making a scarf it can look very ugly on the reverse side so instead of having that you can do the cable so that it's reversible it looks more or less the same on both sides the whole piece doesn't look exactly the same then because instead of having purl stitches on both sides of the cables you have a carter stitch which means that when you're going back and forth you always knit instead of purling what you do is you rib the cables so if you look at here every second stitch is purl so you knit purl knit purl and so on and this is what makes it so that it looks the same on both sides you can you can use this technique for any kind of cables like here you have a different sort where the goes like this here and when you turn this round you see that it's basically the same but now it goes downwards the other one goes upwards but if this was a scarf it looks equal, equally tidy on both sides so the only difference is that instead of purling next to the cables in between the cables you use garter stitch and instead of having the cables just knitted stitches you have them ripped so I'll knit a couple of rows on this so first you just knit the these well I have six here whatever way you knit doesn't make any difference there and then um, I'm at this here I need to do this crisscross again which means that I lift four stitches and it's better to use that kind of cables that each needle when you lift the stitches has an even number so it has two or four or six six is quite a lot but like here I have four because if you only have three on both sides it doesn't look quite as good I think uh, this has been done so that there are three stitches on each side when you crisscross them so the cable is six stitches wide and it doesn't look as good as this as this here one so I have these four and I leave them at the back and then I knit the first one and then purl the next one so I'm ripping one one ribbing and knit and purl and then I take the other needle from the back and do the same there so I need to look what I have on the previous row so that it stays as rib so um, knit, knit one purl one it makes noise <laughs> knit and purl so I have that done now and then I knit to the end of the row then I'll do one, one more row here so I turn and again knit the six in the beginning that I have on this piece and uh, then I rib the actual cable knit one purl one knit one Pearl, knit, pearl, there, 
I use stitch markers just that I know exactly where the cable starts and ends. And then you knit to the end of the row. And this is all there is to it. So uh, any cable, you can just adapt it. The only thing you have to remember is that because it's ribbed, it's slightly narrow, it sort of draws in. So you may need to add some stitches to somewhere in your knitting, otherwise it will be too narrow. But basically, especially for scarves, this is very handy. And especially I like this here one. 